Pinocchio. Yeah. Who has seen it but Academy members? It got nominated. Oh, I didn't know that. For costuming. Who's? Guillermo's. Well, that get, that's no surprise to me. But where the freak <laughs> is it? Did someone watch it in a closet? <laughs> <laughs> hey, welcome back to our stupid reaction to the Idiot. I'm Corbin. I'm Rick. I'm Instagram, Instagram, Twitter, 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 We've known the release date for that'll be March 28th. It was still weird that it was nominated for SAGs and Globes and now Oscars. We get to see it because we're members of Screen Actors Guild. So we get screeners before other people get to see these things. But it's like you're posting reviews about this thing and you're publicizing it and nobody can see it. Pinocchio. Uh, February 23rd, 1940. Not that Pinocchio. <laughs> which is my favorite Disney film, by the way, in case you were wondering, in case you were playing at home. Lame. Uh, so Lame? No. What's yours? Mulan. Uh, probably Finding Nemo. I love Finding Nemo. Lame. Actually, no. Sorry. I, I know what it is. It's Ratatouille, because you can relate to the Emperor's New Groove. I love Emperor's New Groove. That's great. More than any of the classic... Di yeah. You don't have Emperor's New Groove without Pinocchio. I don't give a shit. Uh, so today we're acting to a cricket video. Uh, this is Top 10 Fielding Efforts Ooh. by... Say this name for me. Ravindra... Jadega. So, Jadeja. we've learned Forgive about... me, I may have butchered that. We've learned about quite a few Indian... Uh, uh, Doni, uh, obviously, Sachin. Uh, oh, and then that one we had did the, the chant. What was his name? Uh, Sachin. Sildopa, Sildopa. Oh, I forget his name. That's so, a song, da, 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 da. not a chant. Well, baby, say oh, the kids. The, the song. Okay, yeah, I thought you were thinking of Sachin, Sachin. No, 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 that, that, that song. Baby, yeah, say the kids. kids, yes. I forget his name. Uh, so I, we didn't learn about it. Uh, <laughs> no, but I mean, but we come haven't on. we haven't done fielding. It when doesn't matter. Fielding, we, when you think of fielding in baseball, who do you think of? Oh, Carl, uh, Cal Ripken Jr. Mm. Yeah, uh, Cal Ripken Jr. Believe it or not, I also go to some players that wouldn't be known larger, but because I grew up watching Yankees and Dodgers, uh, it would be uh, uh, Craig Nettles at third, Bucky Dent at shortstop, Davy Lopes, Ron Say, Steve Garvey. Uh, defensive outfielders, there's been quite a few. You know who's a really impressive uh, all-around player? Aaron Judge. Yeah. But the other one, the, the most incredible defensive player that I think always comes up in the conversation in the outfield is Joe DiMaggio. Yeah. yeah. But fielding in, I'm guessing, cricket, and, but it's, uh, baseball, as we know, is an underrated. Uh, yes. Because obviously it's not the, outside if you could make a cool catch, obviously... <laughs> But the the ones that have the most, they get the most money and all that are the pitchers and the people and that the, can the hit. guys that can hit. Yeah, yeah it's almost always hit. in every sport, offense is the one that has all the fireworks and the glitz. But people who love the sports, they love the defensive plays. So I'm guessing he's like one because the first comment on this video is 70% of the earth is covered by water. The rest is covered by... <laughs> <laughs> so, which is something that's also a thing for outfielders, especially... Your range in the infield matters as well, but for outfielders in baseball, uh, there's timing from the moment the bat hits the ball. In fact, if you're a good outfielder, you can know where the ball's going to go before the bat hits it. Yeah. And they, they, the amount of ground that they cover is talked about a lot in terms of the defensive capabilities of a player. Yeah. So hopefully we'll learn some different kind of video. Bring it here. Pro TV. Compared to amateur TV. Friends, for cricket, ground and bowler and batsman, the most popular shatter fielder is the one who 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 Oh, why would you throw that? You have to, you can't. That him? That's a good looking dude. Number one, Watson vs. Jadeja. Two hundred clips of Australia and India are one day match. When Ravinder Jadeja was seen by Watson, he saw him in the match. In this match, Watson was seen by Jadeja. He took a very strong shot. 
जो गोली की रफ्तार से जदेजा को क्रॉस करके जाने ही वाली थी लेकिन फील्डिंग मास्टर जदेजा ने अचानक अपनी महारत का इस्तेमाल किया और दोनों हाथों से कैच पकड़कर वाटसन को आउट कर दिया इस लम्हे को देखकर वाटसन का मुंह फूल का खुदा रह गया नंबर टू विलियमसन वर्सिस जदेजा दोस्तों इस क्लिप में कीवीज बैट्समैन और बेहतरीन कप्तान के विलियमसन का शिकार होते हुए देखा गया लेकिन ये नहीं जानते थे कि वहाँ पर फील्डिंग मास्टर जदेजा है जो गेंद का रुख मोड़ कर अपनी तरफ कर लेता है जदेजा ने एक बड़ी डाइव लगाई और विलियमसन का कैच एक हाथ से पकड़ लिया जिसे देखकर और विलियमसन वीरान हो गए और इन्हें ग्राउंड से बाहर जाना पड़ा नंबर थ्री उस्मान वसीस जदेजा इस कलीम में उस्मान ख्वाजा कलदीप को ऑफ साइड की तरफ एक जोरदार शॉट लगाते हैं और इतने लिए दौड़ लगा देते हैं क्योंकि ऐसी शॉट पर एक रन तो बन ही जाता है लेकिन अगर वहां पर फील्डिंग के लिए रविंदर जदेजा हो तो बैट्समैन के लिए सिंगल लेना भी मुश्किल हो जाता है जब उस्मान ख्वाजा शॉट खेलने के बाद भागे तो जदेजा की गोली की रफ्तार से थ्रो सीधी विकेट जा लगी जिससे इनको आउट होना पड़ा और अगले मैच में संभल कर खेलना पड़ा नंबर फोर ब्रैंडन मकैलम वर्सिज रविंदर जदेजा दोस्तों अगर हम और मकैलम को आउट कर दिया मैडम ने ईशांत शर्मा को एक जोरदार हाथ लगाई जब गेंद 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 के बाहर जाने ही वाली थी जदेजा ने बाउंड्री के बहुत करीब थे इसीलिए अपना बैलेंस खो दिया और बाउंड्री के बाहर जाने लगे लेकिन इन्होंने अचानक हवा में उछलकर गेंद को बाउंड्री के अंदर फेंका और दोबारा से अंदर जाकर कैच पकड़ लिया इस लम्हे ने मकैलम की तमाम अमीदों पर पानी फेर दिया नंबर फाइव मैक्सिवल वर्सेज जदेजा दोस्तों ये क्लिप ऑस्ट्रेलिया और इंडिया के टी ट्वेंटी मैच का है जब मैक्सिवल को गेंद को ऑफ साइड की तरफ खेलते हुए देखा गया इस गेंद को खेलने के बाद मैक्सिवल टहल टहल कर सिंगल लेने की कोशिश करते हैं मगर रविंदर जीते ग्राउंड में फाइव जी की स्पीड से थ्रो करते oh, हैं और मैक्सिवल okay. को एक तेज थ्रो से आउट कर देते हैं नंबर सिक्स ब्रैंडन मकैलम वर्सिज रविंदर जीजा दोस्तों एक ही मैच में दूसरी बार की बैट्समैन रविंदर जदेजा से ट्यून करवा चुके हैं ये वाक्य उस वक्त no okay. खान की गेंद पर रोज टेलर लेग साइड की तरफ शॉट लगाते हैं और पहला सिंगल लेने के बाद like के लिए वापस आते हैं तो जदेजा की एक yeah, कैलम को आउट कर देती है और इन्हें मुंह लटका कर ग्राउंड से बाहर जाना पड़ता है नंबर सेवन कोरे एंडरसन वसी जदेजा इस कलिम में रविंदर जदेजा को एक हाथ से डाइव लगाकर एक कीमती बाउंड्री को रोकते हुए देखा गया जब एशवन की गेंद पर कोरे एंडरसन ऑफ साइड की तरफ एक जोरदार हिट लगाते हैं तो गेंद गोली की रफ्तार से सर्कल से बाहर निकलने की कोशिश करती है मगर जदेजा भी अपनी जिद के पक्के होते हैं और एक बड़ी डाइव लगाकर बाउंड्री को रोक लेते हैं जब रिक्की पॉन्टिंग इंडियन स्पिनर को लेग साइड की तरफ खेल देते हैं और सिंगल लेते हुए जदेजा की एक तेज थ्रो का शिकार हो जाते हैं जदेजा की ये थ्रो इतनी तेज होती है कि पॉन्टिंग को पता ही नहीं चलता कि मैं आउट हो चुका हूँ नंबर टेन जदेजा वसीज बेली दोस्तों ये क्लिप उस वक्त देखने को मिला जब जॉर्ज बेली जदेजा के गजब का शिकार हो जाते हैं इस क्लिप में जॉर्ज बेली एशवन की गेंद को खेल देते हैं और जल्दी से सिंगल लेने के चक्कर में जदेजा की तेज थ्रो का शिकार हो जाते हैं और अपनी विकेट गवाने के बाद परेशानी के आलम में ग्राउंड से बाहर जाने लगते हैं दोस्तों आज के लिए इतना ही कुमेर सेक्शन में जदेजा की शातरबाजी के बारे में जरूर बताइएगा थैंक्स फॉर वॉचिंग गुड बाय I have a question based on what we were seeing, okay? Were some of the replays angling a reverse mirror image or is he ambidextrous because he threw with both his right and his left arms? Oh, I didn't notice. Uh, oh.
Okay. And it's possible because how, how each time, each time he's throwing, he's throwing from the side of the body that it would be fastest to release it. Yeah. Rather than he might have change just, hands. He might have just trained that way. I know soccer players who. Yeah. My 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 stepdad actually was originally right footed, but uh, when he was younger, they, the team didn't have a, a, a left striker. Uh huh. And so he trained, and now he's predominantly yeah. left footed. Well, and like, if you're in the NBA, you're ambidextrous. Mm -hmm. Those guys can shoot either hand, uh, but. You obviously in baseball, the primary reason for that is because one hand is gloved. So you throw with one hand, you can hit both sides, but throwing is usually one arm. And but in this, it would make sense. You save a fraction of a second if you yeah. don't like a ball transfer. Mm -hmm. And it, obviously, sometimes you see things and it's just a flipped image, but it happened at least three times, I think, in this where I saw him throw with both his. He was throwing his right predominantly, but then there were a couple where it was his left. Yeah, that would be interesting. Yes, because and amazing. One, and crazy impressive because he was incredibly accurate from incredibly <laughs> far away. <laughs> so I don't know what hand it was, but like that one where he was at least 30 yards yeah. away from the thing and he hit it. Yeah. I don't know how. And also, kudos to the guy that was right in front of it to like, it might, like, how did he know like it was on the right trajectory? Because there was a guy standing in front of it on his team right. that could have picked it could've, up. Tried to stop it, but and I guess let he it go by. I guess he was probably like, he might get it. It's probably a better chance. They probably talk to each other the way they do in baseball. Mm. So, for example, one of the things you do in baseball, you have the infielders and you have the outfielders. And say there's a runner on second base, which is up here. There's first, second, third, and home from your vantage point. It's a hit to the outfield, and the runner on second is coming around third and might go to score. Balls hit the center field. The shortstop in the infield is going to come out to the outfield to be the cutoff person and line them up. And so the catcher is actually telling the shortstop left, right, left to line up the center fielder's throw. And when the ball comes in, the outfielder is supposed to throw at the shortstop and the catcher will tell the shortstop cut or let it go. Mm. And if it's a cut, that means forget it. There's no play at home. Stop this other guy or let it go means don't touch it. I want it to come. I wonder if I they communicate they, like I that. I bet that's what it yeah. is. Yeah, they say you need to cut it out of it. Because he kind of just got out of the way. And then that one, I didn't know that was the rule. You can, if you catch it, you can throw it back up so you're not out. Obviously, because if you catch it out, it's a six. Obviously. Right. So you, you throw it up and then go back in to get it. Right. Why wouldn't people do that more? Or do they do that often? Is that like a common thing? I'd imagine it is. I if you don't have like, if you're not going like crazy fast and all you can do is get it back in. Well, the important thing about that is... You've got to catch it because if you if you don't catch it, then all of the runs that were happening okay. while they're going back and forth and back and forth, all of that's going to count. Mm -hmm. And the, you throw it far up in the air, they still get all that time to keep running back and forth. Yeah. So, yeah, that's a risk. And then also that one that we didn't think he caught, but he was able to stop from being a six, which is what we... Or at least even a four. Yeah. Because if there was no other defender behind him, that thing's going to roll to the boundary. Yeah. Yeah, so he stopped four points. I wonder how... Um, Maybe even stopped one point because nobody else was... I didn't even think about it because that's kind of like football. Obviously, linemen, if you can't get to the quarterback, you want to try to bat the ball. Bat the ball. Bat with American football, not soccer. Right. We Yes, we are aware it's a dumb name. Yeah. But we didn't shouldn't come up called, with it either. It shouldn't be called football and it shouldn't be called the World Series. Yeah, we get it. We didn't come up with the names, yeah. but that's what they're called. Uh, but like, so like the lineman, if you can't get to the quarterback and sack him, your next goal is to bat the ball down. down. And so that it's a, so I'm guessing it's a similar, so there's a lot going on there. Uh, or example, this happens a lot in football as well. The defender on the receiver can't catch the ball, but bats it up mm -hmm. in the hope that another defender can get yep. it. And that happens. Tip drills. Yep. Uh, so that was cool. Let us know what other cricket videos uh, or other sports. You know, we like... Um, Gabbity. Gabbity. Uh Are there more? I'm sure there are. And we've, made, we've said it before, where are the ladies? Is well, there a ladies we, league for, for, for Kabaddi? Uh, Kabaddi, I don't know. We did do ladies cricket. Once. Yeah, no, I meant for Kabaddi. Yeah. Probably. Yep. I want to see it. Let us know down below. Da <laughs> <laughs>